How you doing? This is Yakov back with the uh, final intro in the book Restore My Soul and uh, just explaining it a little bit as well. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> we're going to hop right into it. Again, this book is a very, very encouraging book based off the teachings of Rabbi Nachman, Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi Natan, uh, Rabbi Nassan of Nemerov or Breslov. Um, this is the, 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 the master and the student together working together and um, <clears throat> we see the power of the, the advice right here. We, um, the final intro begins as uh, like this. It says, when asked, what is the power of free will? Rabbi Nachman answered, simple. If you want... You do. If not, not. Too many people are trapped in the customs of their habits. But if they truly want to, they can easily overcome them. Okay? That's a very, these are very important, this is a very important statement. We said over here, uh, um, Rabbi Nachman is answering a very, very, very high question that everybody has, um, and he brings it, he wants to bring it down to earth for everybody to understand, okay, that really it's within you, it's within your, your power, it's within your, as Rabbi Nachman would, would say so many times over, um, over all of his texts, and you would see it within his students' texts, that the main thing is Ratzon, the main thing is your will. What is your will? Because the will is in your thought. In your in inside of you, what what is driving you? you see the people that are very successful in life. Um, doesn't matter baruch baruchnes or gashmis, whether physical or spiritual. What is the what is the one of the tool ingredients that they had? Because no matter how successful or how unsuccessful they were, sorry, no matter how successful they were in physical material or spiritual matters. And even if they had to go through ups and downs, if they were going to give up, if their will was weak, or if they didn't work on their will, they didn't work on clarifying really what they want, their will, which is the will. Your wanting is your will, your yearning, your desire for what you want to get closer to, what you want to bring, attract in your life, and uh, what you want also, also to succeed in is based on how many times you're willing to get up. Falling will happen, even if you're successful right off the bat. Don't think a person is not going to have to go through some some sort of stomach box. It doesn't have to be the hardest thing in the world, but everybody has to go through things in this world. So we need to understand, you know, like Rabbi Nachman says, we're, we're, too many people are trapped in the customs of their habits, of their youth. And from our youth, we've been we've already been accustomed from so many different things, ways of thinking, ways of doing, ways of speaking. We think, for instance, on a simple level, like like to to disconnect from those habits are so difficult. Rabbi Nachman very much clarified: you want, if you truly want, you can easily overcome them. So really, it's about, in essence, first it's about understanding. You must disconnect from the the wills that you grew up with, because a lot of the wills that we grew up with, a lot of the desires we grew up with, we're so connected with it. It's ingrained within us. It's so easy for us to say, "Yeah, I want good. Yeah, yeah, I kind of want good," but the things that I grew up with, the things that I was used to, it made a habit. It became something that I feel like I I needed all the time. And I can't live without it. So it's like an inner desire that's embedded within me. And the truth is I need to look at it and cut it off from the part of the will to, to realize I shouldn't even want this. And I don't even realize that that's actually draining me from the things that I, that I actually uh, see that are healthy, that I want long term in my life. I want this certain long term goal. I want to learn Torah. I want to learn truth. I want to pray. I want to be able to be kind to people. I want to be uh, work on my character traits more. I want to work on whatever a person that wants to work on their um, their uh, their resume more. They want to work on their skills more. Whatever the situation is, 
The question is, how good is your wanting? And how did you, did you clarify it? Did you clarify it's something that you want? Or is it something that you have yet to put in your repertoire? I want to do it somewhere. I, I don't know. I haven't really succeeded. It's very difficult. Rabbi Nachman says, simple. If you want, you do it. Makes it simple. Tries to cut off a lot of stuff. Let's us know what's happening. It's a lot of stuff from our youth that we ran away from. We need to confront them a little bit, step by step, and to recognize what are those things that we, we actually, I kind of really do want, and I'm used to wanting it, so it's a part of my re wanting repertoire, and to get rid of those things by cutting them off at the root, cutting them off, realize it's not, that want is not even going to get me anywhere. I don't even really want that. That's not even benefiting me. Validating and, 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 and being aware of it so that you can come to the proper conclusions. You realize, you know those things that I really want? Well, well, that's what I'm never going to give up on. It doesn't matter how long it'll take me because those are really good things. Those are things that are really good for me and I'm never going to give up on those things that are going to be, especially for my eternal benefit, particularly, especially also for what's currently here also because um, we're only looking for the double whammy for in this world and the next world. Whatever's good for us in the next world, okay, is good for us in this world as long as we know how to look at it in this world as well. Okay, that's why we have guidance of, of, of real leaders. But again, don't be don't be, don't be foolish. Don't don't be don't be too smart. Don't be too smart and get so complicated. Rabbi Nachman said, "Simple. Most of the things we're already stuck in from the youth, so we just have to be willing to be the youth again a little bit, to recognize what those things are, so we don't have to have them within our repertoire." Then the next uh, the next the next small few sentences writes a student was once complaining to Rabbi Nachman about his lack of accomplishment in his serving God. The student said that he wanted very much to serve God. Rabbi Nachman said to him, if that's the case, do you truly want to want? Now back. That was it right there. That was the final, the, the finish of the intro. Um, so let's go, let's go back here, what we just said. Do you truly want to want? I, I, he, he was talking about his lack of accomplishment in serving God. And he wanted to serve God very much. So Rabbi Nachman said, do you really truly want to want? Meaning, there are things in our life. Before we were talking about doing. And the key to doing is that you truly want. Right? That's what, that's what we got out from before. Right? So, so we see here that... The things, simply, to put it, we're, we're very much entrenched in the things of our youth to the point where we don't even realize we don't even really want the good things. We don't truly want the good things because he says truly want it. Okay, we're, we're actually more programmed, hooked into the things that we wanted from our youth more than the new things, even though the new things sound great and it sounds like a new life, but we, we have no clue we feel like how to get there. So Rabbi Nachman's advice is, you say you want to, okay, if you really did want to, you, you would be brought there. So it means that what our job is first is to want to want. To have a desire to actually have that desire. I want to make that a part of the things that I desire. Work on first making the things in the life that your life that you see are good for you and for other people, guaranteed for you. Put them Try to put them in the forefront of your mind actively and want to want, make that a part of your desire, your desire repertoire. Because it's like, it's work. If you didn't grow up with it, you didn't, it wasn't within you, you have to put it within you. You have to, and it's possible. But Rabbi Nachman says you have to be sitting there wanting to want, which is, uh, to expound on that, a lot of people are doing meditation and personal prayer. Part of all this is contemplation and focus on certain goals that you want. You want to sit there and focus on, I want this. This is really what I want. And you could sit there for minutes, for purpose, for, for, for half an hour, hour, whatever the situation, for, for a minute even, for, for 10 seconds. And really folk clarify before you get into the, the job, the interview, the... Um, whatever the situation is at your 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 home, whatever it is, I want to have shalom. Shalom is the most important thing for me, and then I really want and I want to want, and and 
constantly you'll see where you are in the spectrum. If you really wanted th things, then even the fall wouldn't deter you. That means you have a real will. And even if you fell, even if you stumbled, the fall wouldn't deter you. And if it what did deter you, that means you didn't really want. It means you need to want to want. You need to, to, to want to have the desire within your repertoire. Once you have the desire within your repertoire, you work on that. You work on that constantly all the time. And you will find that it, before you know it, you, f you will find you're accomplishing those things exactly which you thought were impossible. All because you clarified that originally, you know what? Rav George says every, many times, and I've heard before as well, um, you know, I want to be holy, I want to be this. No, I don't really want to be that. I like I prefer just to sit on my couch, watch TV. Excuse me. Um, sit on my couch, watch TV, and just relax and enjoy. That's really what I want. But I want to want to be holy, to to do good, to do this. I want to want. <clears throat> I have to clarify for myself what I really want. And and, and it's actually freedom. It's it's the truth. And so it's not it's not nothing and it's not anything bad. It's actually the real way to actually have the good things in your life and make them your real will. So may everybody merit to recognize the first um that every at the beginning you wanna do you wanna act and do things differently, you have to truly want them. And if you don't truly want them, then want to want. May God bless you and be able to see all your desires come true.